In SOLIDWORKS 2005, we introduced a utility that allowed you to simplify your parts. Now in SOLIDWORKS 2006, we've extended that to the assembly environment. One of the nice things is we can ignore features that would uh, might be affecting mates so that you don't have mates failing unexpectedly. We'll just go off and find any features that meet our simplification factor. You can see in the uh, dialog box we have access to select any of those features there. We also have the ability to create derived configurations of these parts and we'll choose to, to suppress all of those. What SOLIDWORKS does at this point is it creates a simplified assembly, a derived configuration of our assembly that is simplified. So you can see that we have our simplified derived configuration and we also have the fully configured version of that. Likewise, in each of the parts we have the same capability where it creates the simplified derived configuration and we also have the fully configured version of that part. So some nice tools for large assembly simplification in 2006.